And welcome back, this is Bella Scuba with another StarCraft 2 commentary. My opponent in this upcoming match is JHS Fantasy. JH Fantasy is ranked 4th in his Platinum Division with 2,965 points, 554 wins, and 533 losses. Snorlax. And here we are in the game. I have spawned as the Blue Terran. I seem to be blue a lot lately. He... I... He, I, who am I? What is this? I am the Blue Terran in the East, up against JAS Fantasy. He is the Red Protoss player in the West. The map is Lost Temple, and look at that APM. Oh, I bet he's got a lot of stuff to show for it. Look at it, he's, he is doing the pro thing. Select all the probes, select the, that. Uh, 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 uh. He's doing it, man, he's doing it. I don't, I, I don't know why. He's not producing more than me. Oh, uh, he's got five more minerals. So that is what the spam will do for you. Um, 250, um, 250 APM will get you five minerals about a second faster than I will. And my hand doesn't hurt, man. I'm just saying. And he supply locked himself anyways. <laughs> oh, eh. so there you go. He supply locked himself thanks to the spam. So yeah, I'm down to 23 and you know, I'm not doing much. There we go. Kicked back up while I tell this guy what the hell to do. Continuing to make SCVs pretty standard. You guys know the drill this early in the game. Bears going up at the ramp. It's not always needed to go at the ramp, but I always like to put it there uh, because I want to get the sight on the ramp very early on in the game and I don't want to pull the supply depot out there in case uh, he comes in and is able to snipe that. This thing has a lot more HP than my normal supply depot which only has 400 so this is over double the HP. A lot harder to take out in case he goes for some kind of early zealot push if you're up against um, uh, you know, zerg player early zergling push up against a Terran player early marine push you don't want him to snipe the the supply depot get supply locked and not be able to mount a force and lose due to that but you still want to get sight on the ramp so it is important to build something there getting supply depot up in the corner here because I'm always scared that there's gonna be something in the corner there never is but you never know I am gonna follow this probe around because I don't trust him for one second. As you shouldn't with any probe. They can just build stuff and then walk away and you'll be like, oh, he left my base, no worries. Oh, there's a pylon back there. Damn you, probe. I'm kind of waiting here. Uh, there we go. I decided to build the barracks, hoping that the, the probe will not make it back to spot it. He does not, so my strategy is still hidden from my opponent here. He doesn't know what I have going which is going to be three racks it looks like yes it is there's the third one right there zell is going to chase my scv it looks like all the way back to my base no he stopped right there dance for me zealot why don't you dance nobody ever tells their their units to dance when i want them to i w i will eventually remember i keep on thinking you know what i am going to do a video or I'm gonna play a game where I tell my marauders or my marines or something to dance for me. SCVs can't dance. They can't even do the robot, which they should because they're in a robot. Kind of like a mech suit, but you guys know what I mean. Marines are out. Um, once again, I'm putting them here in case he does send another probe in. It looks like he does want to get some scouting done. Will he be able to make it? If he gets in, he'll know that I have three racks. No, he doesn't do it. So he still has no idea what I have going on. And I take a huge lead in the year's loss count. I mean, look how big his bar is compared to mine. Oh, that's got to be a huge lead. I don't know if he's going to be able to recover from that. His expansion is on the way. I do not have an expansion. Not even close to thinking about it. He does have quite a bit more. Uh, minerals and gas and I do especially since these guys were just made he had I believe three or four hundred there going for a robotics facility so we are pretty much going to be seeing two gate robo with an expansion 
Meanwhile, for me, we're seeing the huge first couple marauders are out. This guy is still watching the ramp in case anybody tries to sneak up it. You ain't getting past him. No way. His eyes never blink. Look, they never blink. Ever. I'm gonna keep him up there. You guys pay attention. Oh, I changed it. This guy never blinks. Ever. It's creepy, isn't it? Okay, he is going for an immortal here. Meanwhile, he does have a couple zealots and stalkers out in front. I am going to be sending my troops out here, keeping a couple in the base, just in case there is some kind of proxy pylon, and he is trying to flank me and wants to go for some kind of base race. I don't recommend that, though, especially this early in the game. I should be able to lift off and move out without too much of a worry. But of course, Protoss players cannot do that. All their stuff has to stay on the ground. And here he tries to hide his probes, but he hides them exactly where I queued up my guys to go. So I'm trying to do a little bit of micro gear. I'm not doing too good at it though. Still not, uh, don't have that all down. Trying to focus down the immortal. No, the non-blinking guy died. So at least I can look at something else now. Once again, that is the order that I typically go in. If he has a garden shield up, I go for the sentry that's that's making it. Otherwise, immortals, sentries, then stalkers. That is how I'd like to go. Um, probably I could be going for the zealots if they are out in front. I could kite them like you saw me do there with the probes and the zealots. I was kiting them and then I went for the, my normal focusing route. But as you can see, uh, he is down on harvesters thanks to that attack. I do take the lead in the, the unit's lost count. Remember that 100 of those is from the two probes that I killed, so it looks like I am just over 200 ahead. No, just over 100. Yeah, 125 ahead in the unit's lost count. He is going for sight around his base. Uh, once again, this thing is so huge. Um, I'm I'm still working on trying to get sight around my base. Um, as you can see, there pro there could be like a pylon there, maybe. I would probably see it, but um, yeah, all the way around, I still have nothing here. So there could have been something here this entire time, and I guess I wouldn't have noticed. But it's still. Um, Huge map, huge, huge. I mean, look at all this room here that he just does not have sight of. I could drop anything here. I could drop freaking Thors and he wouldn't know. He'd be out of position all the way up here. The observer is scouting my guys. I hate when that happens. Do I have an engineering bay up? I do, but no missile turrets still. Because he did go for the immortals, I assume that he was not going for the void rays. Typically, that's a different tech tree. So I'm assuming that he's going to be sticking with the ground forces. So I'm sticking with marines and marauders, not bothering with the missile turrets. Not getting, it doesn't, it doesn't even look like I'm getting a factory up right now. I am a little bit high on gas still, um, trying to get the upgrades up. Do I have combat shield? It looks like I do. Um, fourth barracks is up. Doesn't look like I have enough right now to support a fifth, but I should soon because this is getting saturated very quickly. So a fifth barracks should be on the way, but it doesn't look like it is right now. Sentries being marked in. Another immortal is out to waddle its way to victory. Another one being trained as well. Looks like he's only training one probe at a time here. Uh, yeah, he's not fully saturated there at all, is he? What about here? How are you doing here? Not good. So his income is not doing very good right now. No, it is not. Look at that. He's at, he still has less harvesters than I do. And as he should, because I took out quite a few of them. But look at that minerals. Thanks to my mules. He does have more gas than I do. He is on three gas. I am only on two. But still, um, I am... Well, I should be thinking about getting... Uh, another gas up soon. There we go. Fifth Rax is on the way. Um, this is actually, I would say, decent saturation for how many minerals are left here, considering that they're going to go away pretty soon. And I should be still, though, I should be continuing to build SCVs. There we go. 
looks like I just slipped up for a second there. Uh, Twilight Council is on the way. Where is that baby? There it is. Uh, he is continuing to make immortals and sentries, man. He is worried about my marauders. Twilight Council is finished. Charged is being researched and chrono boosting. Chrono boosted. Even though. Hmm, eight? Nine. I would assume that he wanted to go for the Blink Stalkers, but then again, I don't know Protoss players as well as Protoss players. So he might be going, might be thinking that the the Charge Zealots is going to help him here, especially since he saw me kite them earlier. Uh, he does have an Observer going to Zelenaga Tower just to spot to see what's going on. I don't have anything there. Second Observer is on the way. Um, I'm always confused as to why they would get the Second Observer, but if he wanted to double keep one with his army and keep one over my army, that's a pretty good idea, actually. Continuing to bust out Marines and Marauders, get in the armory, get, should be getting a second um, second engineering bay do have two starports up. Where is my factory? Where did I put my factory? There it is. Right next to the starports. Why didn't I see you before? You're a hidden factory right there in plain sight. I don't have the second engineering bay up still. Why not? Nothing coming out of the starports, so they were built for nothing to this point. But I do have this huge Marina Marauder Ball here. If he can come up with High Templars, that would be awesome for him. I always like the High Templars a lot better than the Colossi for a big Marina Marauder Ball like that. Um, if you wanted to take out... If you, I don't know. Colossus are good, but High Templars I always thought were better. Colossus do have their uses, but against a Marina Marauder Ball like that, against Terran players, I would always recommend going for the the High Templars first. And it does look like he is going to be going for the Templar Archives here, so he sh we should be seeing High Templars coming out of him. Is he going to be researching Psionic Storm? He definitely should. That is what you would use him for. You're not going to feed back any of these guys. Does he have enough for it? He does. But he's supply locked. Yes, he is. How much? These take up four food. That is insane. How much do my tanks take up? Wait, where's my factory? Three. So immortals are even cost more food than a tank. That's crazy. Psionic storm is being researched now. Is the perfect time for me to move out. I need to get that uh, damage done before psionic storm is finished. But of course, I don't know that. Instead, it looks like I have queued this guy up to build the command center here. Once again, the 17 minute mark, it's a little late to be thinking about my third expansion, but now is when I think of it. Seems to be the timing on my thought process there. Looks like he's going to be moving in here. He's got everybody lumped up, waiting for the Zealous to charge before he forms Concave. And um, a couple. <laughs> There's a lot of force fields. So I, I actually selectively stimmed here, I believe. No, I didn't stim at all. There we go. Selectively stimming there. So I do remember this game partially, even though it was a few days ago. Down goes the immortal, down goes the stalker, and down goes his army. What does he have left? He's got two High Templars and Immortal and four Zealots. I need to counterattack now, but I don't know that. I should know that. I mean, look at that. 164 to 72. There's no reason for me not to move out. There we go. Starting to counter. I'm at actually at 164 out of 190. Like I said, I've been a little more macro heavy now. I'm trying to get up to full supply once again, like I used to do actually in my placement matches. I used to wait till 200 supply and then I'm like, oh, I guess I should move out and try to attack the guy. The observer. I'm gonna spot my army very early on. Photon cannons being warped in. It doesn't, uh, I guess, built. You build photon cannons? I don't know. I don't see any construction on it. But I'm stimming up. And there goes the storms. I don't really care right now because I know I have the massively larger armor here. And if all else fails, my siege tank will definitely get the job done for me. High Templar is trying to run away, but I do spot them thanks to my medevac, so I'm going to focus them down. 
do they have enough for another psionic uh, storm? No. So down they go. Gonna focus down the Nexus here. This guy just now realizing, oh, I can't attack anything from here, so he decides to move. Down goes the Nexus, down goes the pylon, down goes another pylon, but he's well under his, his supply cap here. He has pretty much four, st <laughs> four zealots, an archon, three high templars, and then his probes that he's pretty much taken off the line here. And charge! I don't know why he's charging that. There goes another psionic storm. But once again, my army has healed up. Psionic storm going down on the tank, and it does look like the tank goes down because of it. I did not think it would. Archon being uh, warped in here, or merged, sorry. And I'm trying to cut these guys, but the, the charge is just too much. My guy splits in half and falls to his doom. And no, get out of there, get out of there, man. No, he's a little bit faster. How fast are you? 2.81. 2.5. Weapons level 3, armor level 3 on the way. That means these guys are 2-2. Two, two. These guys, of course, 0-0. Zero, zero. I have not been doing well there. I have way too many minerals here. I'm trying to get the third base up and running. He does not have his third base. And I still have quite the larger army here. 151. 42. Only enough for two storms here, and I quickly move through them. Siege tanks do take quite a bit of damage from that, but it is not enough. And I am taking down the Nexus once again. He cannot have enough minerals for another one. No, he does not. Doesn't look like he's going to be getting it anytime soon. Not with that kind of saturation. I'm not bothering to kite these guys because they have charge pretty much. And there's the game. So. There we go. Counter to the Maria Marauder Ball is the Templars, um, but you can't let me get that big of a ball before you start using it. You need to get that sooner. I need to start spending better. Uh, need um, siege tanks. Actually, Hellions would have been good, considering how many um, how many zealots he had. And then once he uses up the charge, I can just kind of kite off and then blast him with my flamethrower. Uh, need to keep producing out of there. As you can see, I'm pretty much just producing marines. Uh, no marauders right now. You know, where's my hockey? There. Just marines, no marauders. Need to keep producing that. Um, but as I was expanding, getting all this new income, kind of hard to keep up. Once again, 1,200 minerals, 600 gas, uh, as opposed to just 400 minerals when he had just the one one base. He knew that the game was over when he was down the one base. He did not know that I had three expansions up. Well, the third one on the way, I should say, third expansion on the way. So there we go, new g another game. Fully mined out of there. As you can see, I did transfer way over to, way over saturated here. What was that, 26? Some of you need to move down, y'all. I never go for the high yield on this map. I don't know why. Hmm. I'll have to think about that one and start changing my strategies when it comes to that. So yes, watch your replays, guys. You always learn something from it. I hope you guys enjoyed this game. Different strategies uh, from the Protoss player. Um, it's charge zealots. Tons of immortals. Tech to high Templars. Too late. By then, I had too big of a ball of marines and marauders. So... Yeah, that cost him the game. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.